All right, welcome to my channel. Look, I want to give you something like really simple for the close guard. All right, and it's the focus is going to be on the overhook and like one of the problems you're running into and like one way you can address it. So right now I have a visitor, Trevor, who uh, came up with me at Evolve Academy. You know, my alma mater. So he's going to help me out with this technique real quick. So let's go with you. All right, so. We're gonna kind of just go around the close guard and then we're gonna skip the transition to the position. So he's gonna be super nice to me. <laughs> so, so nice. He's gonna let me have the arm and let me have the overhook. And um, one thing, give us some space. One thing that people do in the gear when they get the overhook is they go reach around and grab the, the far side of the pelt. Why? It's because, first of all, it kind of allows you to pinch your arm a lot tighter on the overhook. So now when he tries to wiggle out, it becomes a lot harder, and second, like some people like to go for the cross over here. We're going to use that same grip, but um, in addition to that, one of our goals when we go overhook is generally not to be square with the guy. We want to kind of shift our hips. We want to create space. You know, it creates angles for different attacks. You know, cross choke is one. Arm bar is another. Like all kinds of different things. Triangle, like like kimuras and plazas. All that fun stuff opens up. Shoulder locks. You know, like, it's so much as possible off the overhook, right? Now, I want to move my hip out, and he knows it. So generally, once you start playing this game, you'll have guys who will drop you back flat, and then they will, you know, either lock you in the position, or they will like transition to a like start working to their escape. But they they flatten you out first, right? So like, I have the overhook, I have the far collar grip. Look, I'm, I'm trying to move my hip out. Put the, I can put the foot on the back, I can put the foot on the hip. I'm just trying to get my hip out, pulse him on the shoulder, foot on the hip. He's just like driving me flat. Driving me flat, right? It's not fun. Now here's the thing. I lift up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take this free hand and I'm gonna grab his same side lapel that I have my right hand grip on. So right now I have the overhook on my right side and I'm gonna have a reinforcement on my left side on the same lapel, all right? It's not going to help me so much to, uh, it can help me, but it's more important that I kind of set up a different attack from it. So like, I'm still trying to move my hip out. He's whacking me out, he's pulling me in, sucking me in. And then look, instead of putting like a frame in this way to create space for my hip to move that way, I'm going to frame this way to create space for my hip to move that way. So like with this grip, now I can go here. So now he tries to you know, move. Then I put my foot on that. Hip moves him out. Butterfly hook comes in. Look, I'm still tight on his arm. And this angle makes it even worse because he tries to pull the arm out. You know, he tries to put weight on me. Man, I feel pretty comfortable here. And I feel so comfortable that I, I, I might as well just sweep him. And look, I feel so comfortable that I don't even have to come up. What I'm gonna do is just keep this pressure and then slide my weight towards his wrist. So like here, stiff arm. And then what I'm doing is, as I stiff arm, I'm starting to rotate the bottom arm up, kind of suck it into his elbow. So it ends up being a really strong like arm bar. And because I have so much control over that far shoulder, it's hard for him to address it, hard for him to react to it. So I'll show it again. You know, this is more of a technique video than a conceptual one. But there is a concept here if you're, if you're savvy and pay attention, all right? So, he's again, he's being nice. He lets me have the overhook. And, you know, I start trying to move my hip out. He's flattening me out, he's flattening me out. I put the front hip, I'm trying to move the hip out. It's not really working, so I, I t double up on the same lapel. All right, and then I'm going to go this way. So he tries to move now. He tries to put weight into me. I have the space now to come this way. He can even try to frame on my leg and try to pass here and all that fun stuff. Hook comes in. Sweet. And then look, I'm just extending away to finish. And as there is some, some rotation on the bottom arm because, I'm gonna let go for a second. So this is a configuration of my grip. Let's, let's change the angle a little, come this way. All right, so I imagine I have that grip, and I have this grip. His arm is here, where my pressure is on his tricep, 
And as I slide away, I'm, I'm stretching away. And this is kind of like a, a poor demonstration of this principle just because I have to kind of give too much space. But my whole body is here. And like as I stretch away, it becomes like in between an arm bar and a shoulder lock. Massive amounts of pressure. Like ridiculous amounts of pressure. And it's something you should play with, you know? Because like, man. Here's one thing that I think is valuable. <laughs> um, not only just watching and say, oh, that's cool, but actually going out and playing with it because there might be some issue um, as far as like your execution versus mine, and it might not just be details, it might be attributes. Because I have a student who like has shorter arms than me, and some of the things I do in the overhook, you know, it's, it's hard for them. So play with it, let me know if it works for you, and um, man. If you have any other problems related to anything judicial related, only judicial, nothing else, you know, feel free to comment, you know, and tell me about it so we can work on it. It's fun. Have a great day.